Do you solemnly swear that the testimony that you will give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. <clears throat> Many of our fellow citizens apparently believe that your services were bought by Charles Keating, that you were bribed, that you sold your office, that you traded your honor and your good names for contributions and other benefits. Many of these same people also apparently believe that your action and perhaps the actions of other senators and congressmen were solely responsible for the saving and loan failures of scandalous proportions. What you've just seen is a clip from the long-awaited video expose from the Obama campaign about John McCain's involvement in the savings and loan debacle back in the 1980s. We taxpayers were ripped off for billions of dollars. The video was narrated by William Black, a federal bank regulator, who saw this scandal firsthand and how John McCain helped Charles Keating swindled billions of dollars from working people. McCain sold his office. He was manipulated by a wealthy crook. At best, it was poor judgment. At worst, it is a criminal betrayal and robbery of the American people. A true man of character would never have gone along with this. Please search YouTube for this 13-minute video called Keating Economics, The Making of a Financial Crisis. After you check it out, pass it along to your friends, especially those who've yet to make up their minds about this election. The more you learn about McCain's past, the more ludicrous the attacks he directs at Obama become. Our opponent is someone who sees America as imperfect enough to pal around with terrorists who targeted their own country. That's why McCain has his henchmen put out these attacks, because he knows that if he were to say it to Obama's face during a debate, Obama would immediately come back with the name Charles Keating. The worst part about all this is that John McCain never learned his lesson. Even after he was publicly rebuked and criticized, he continued on his crusade for deregulation, the same deregulation that put all of us in the financial crisis we're now in. If you can't find the video, I've linked it on my, my website, alanrich.com. So take your eyes off the stock market for a moment and watch this video, and then let me know what you think. Thanks.